I'll sleep better tonight. Hey peeps, what's up? Panchi here, back with another video. And yep, we have Android 12 Beta 3, the script KDE build available for the Poco F1. What are the prerequisites? Of course, unlocked bootloader, custom recovery installed. We are going to use TWRP for the purpose of this video. Another thing, make sure your battery is charged at least 50 to 60 percent. Do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30 percent. Next up, if your device is encrypted, you will have to perform a format data. In my case, my device was not encrypted, which means I did not have to perform a format data. I did switch from MIUI, but it should work even if you are coming from a custom ROM based on AOSP. And of course, again, if you are encrypted on the AOSP ROM, you will have to perform a format data. There is no way around it or installing the ROM without performing a format data on an encrypted device. Next up, important thing to note over here is that Android 12 itself is in beta, which means be ready to expect some bugs. It is not a perfect build and it might not be a perfect build until and unless Android 12 stable comes out, but a lot of features are working. So as you can see, we do have the Monit UI and Material U enabled out of the box. Accent color right now is greenish. I can always change it and there it is changed without any issues basic colors can also be applied and yes you do have a themed icons as well so let us enable themed icons it should change to the accent color do note that the icons apply only on the home screen strangely if you go inside they do not apply and of course they do not support third-party applications right now another important thing the build is pre-rooted out of the box so all you have to do is install the latest Magisk APK, connect to the internet, or you can always open this guy and it will ask you to upgrade to the full version, select OK, it will reboot your device. And there it is, one of the bugs which we just noticed. So again, expect bugs, it is a permissive build. And those of you who are interested in writing SE policy, feel free to do so. And once you fix the SE policy for the port, do send it over so that we can make an enforcing build as well other than that what is working what is not working will be mentioned in the pinned comment on the video if you care to read it if you do not want to read the pinned comment and ask if this is working this is not working the comment will be blatantly ignored so here we are i do have of course the poco f1 which right now is running miui 12.0.3.0 based on android 10. First thing, go into settings and then you can go into password and security, remove your screen lock, fingerprint and face unlock. Once that is done, go back, go into me account and remove your me account. Once that is done, go back, go into accounts and sync and remove your Google account. Once you have removed all the accounts and security measures, make sure you reboot your device once. Now, why are we removing all the accounts and security measures? We're doing this because we are going from one ROM to another and I don't want you to be locked out of your own device. Next thing, as I mentioned earlier in the video, having a decrypted device is needed for you to run Android 12 Beta 3 on your POCO F1. So if I go into settings and then if I go back into password and security and privacy, here you will notice that my device is not encrypted. Now, what if your device is encrypted? If your device is encrypted at the end of the installation process you will have to perform a format data and there is no way of avoiding that now those of you who are on custom roms which are based on aosp you can go into settings and then you can go into security might have to tap on advanced so here it is you can see this device over here is encrypted which means i will have to perform a format data if i install the 12 beta 3 on that specific device again if you are decrypted you do not need a format data if you are encrypted you do need a format data or if you run into any boot loops then also you need a format data another question can you switch from aosp based rom to 12 beta 3 yes you can but again if you run into any issues then format data is your only option next up what are the files which you need so all the files which you need are linked in the description of this video so you do need the firmware and if you already know you are on 12.0.3.0 firmware then do not flash it i flash it just to be safe 
and of course you do need the android 12 beta 3 file for the poco f1 do note google apps are baked in the build is pre-rooted and it is a permissive build next thing we are going to do is we are going to turn off our device and boot into our custom recovery so once you've turned your device off press and hold power and volume up together till you see the recovery logo so here it is we are in twrp recovery and of course the recovery which i am using is linked in the description of the video if you are using any other recovery orange fox pitch black feel free to try if you run into a boot loop any issues format data or install using the recovery which i am using first of all let us go into wipe advanced wipe select dalvik cache system vendor and data and then swipe to wipe once that is done tap on the home button go into install you need to navigate to the folder where you have all the files in case you downloaded the files on your phone directly they will be in the download folder so first file you need to select is the firmware then add more zips and then select the android 12 beta 3 for the poco f1 and then swipe to confirm flash now once all the files are flashed successfully we are going to make sure we got no errors so here it is we are flashing the firmware and script succeeded result was one then you are flashing android 12 beta 3 for the poco f1 again script succeeded result was one and of course make sure you read the message over here because it is still very important next up tap on the home button now those of you who were encrypted you need to perform a format data you will go into wipe format data type in yes and then tap on the check mark on the bottom right of the keyboard do note format data will result in wiping out of all your pictures videos anything important which you have on your device those of you who were decrypted you do not and i repeat you do not have to flash disable force encryption all we are going to do is reboot and select system and in case you get the message of no os installed make sure that the flashing process had no errors and then that message can be ignored and there it is we do have the google boot animation on our poco f1 which means our device is booting into android 12 beta 3 of course the first boot up will take some time so you have to be patient and there it is you are going to get this message about android system on any boot up you have to select ok all the time google speech might crash for the first time close application similarly you might have crashes with the ims as well so close app for that as well and the ims crash keeps occurring throughout your usage of android 12 beta 3 here it is ims crashed close app and welcome to your pixel yep you do have a pretty cool dope looking animated setup screen let us skip the initial setup real quick now another thing to note is that it will be stuck at this just a second for quite some time so do not panic it does take some time for the setup process here it is could not connect so let me skip the sim part and of course set up offline for now but i am doing setup offline so that i can make the video quicker for you i do recommend that you go through the setup process and add your google account to download all the applications you need from the play store and stuff and there it is we have successfully booted let us go into settings and then you can go into about phone and now if i tap on the android version here it is android version is 12 security patches from july 2021 baseband is present kernel they are using is silver core 9.4 here is the build android 12 beta 3 do note the build is decrypted so we can go into settings and then we can go into security here it is encryption and credentials phone not encrypted another thing i would like to mention is that when you first try to access wallpapers and style you might not get the wallpapers color option and it does take some time for the changes to kick in now as you can see i have only one wallpaper and everything else does need to be downloaded from the internet another important thing is that if you go into your home settings you will notice that you do not have access to your google feed why because swipe to access google app is grayed out and the fix for that is as easy as going into the google play store and download the google app reboot your device and the option will be enabled and you should be good to go if you open the files application it might take some time for the files app to load as well do expect some little bit of lags in the ui because again the base of android 12 itself is in beta and 
there it is peeps that is how you install android 12 beta 3 on the poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you